Hi guys, get ready for today's workout. It is going to be a low impact cardio workout. Um, I have a one dumbbell and I also have my egg weights. I may use them for some of them. I might not. Just be ready for anything, but that's the only equipment that you potentially could use. Um, the egg weights are the hand weights and they're, I think mine are one and a half or two pounds. Um, nothing more than that for the cardio, but it will be low impact. We're gonna start with a quick warm up. So let's start with marching it out. So no jumping today, but very intense. It's gonna be a lot of cardio. And the strength will be in the um, engaging the muscles we use during the cardio. We may do some things in plank. So we will be getting that heart rate up, but we may do some push-ups, we may do some burpees, but again, no jumping. Um, but intense. Everything is meant to keep that heart rate up. Let's start with a step touch right here. Toe behind the heel. So these moves are very effective, but they are, um, I think, very intense as jumping. Sometimes more intense because you really engage the muscle. Four. Three, hamstring curl right here, reach and pull. We want to get nice and warm here. Two more, give me a squat. Hamstring curl, squat. Hamstring curl, squat. Hamstring curl, squat. Hamstring curl, squat. One more time, hamstring curl, squat, tap and reach. Really stretch through the side here. Reach it in front. Four more. Squat down and up. Hope everybody's having a good day. Abs are in nice and tight. Hold it down and pulse. Bring those feet together, keep pulsing. We're gonna warm up those inner thighs a little bit. We're gonna do side lunges, nice and easy. Here we go. So the inside leg is straight. Don't worry about going to the beat today. You can go at your own pace always. Always keep the feet moving. Grab water when you need it. March it out. We're gonna knee lift right here. This is like a standing crunch. You wanna use your abdominals to get that knee up. You may see some kickboxing today in the low impact moves. We will get breaks in between these moves. So it will be interval style, probably about Sometimes 20 seconds, sometimes 30 to 40 seconds, depending on the move. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, march it out nice and wide. You wanna get those shoulders a little warmer. Big shoulder circles. So much so that you feel it in the obliques. Anytime you use the arms, that always gets the heart rate up a little more. So keep that in mind if you get too winded, bring the arms down whenever you need to. Four more. March out wide. Now we want to get the calves warm, bring it in. It's not a jump, it's a jump rope, but the balls of the feet are in contact with the floor. So it's just a little bounce here, a little jump rope, but you're not really jumping. You're just kind of lowering and lifting those heels, warming up through the calves. And we're gonna get those hamstrings a little warmer with a heel dig in front, slow. Slow. So it's a dynamic stretch, meaning you're in motion, as opposed to a static stretch when we do at the end. Two more, last one, march it out. 
I think you're warmed up and ready to go. I'm gonna grab a quick sip and I'm gonna put my egg weights in my hands, but like I said, I may scrap them, I may use them. Go by how you feel. It depends what kind of day you're having. You know, some days you may just feel more energetic than others. Some days, you know, um, it's a struggle to get a workout in. Some days you feel great. So it's the end of the day here. I had a busy day, but I want to get it in. So I always feel better when I get a workout in. Even if you have days where you only have a few minutes. If you have 15 minutes, get 15 minutes in. Go for a walk, do something. You'll feel so much better when you do. It doesn't have to be an hour workout, and it really doesn't ever have to be. I know I post a lot of longer workouts, but you can always break them up um, or, you know, use them when you have more time. But um, I'm really trying to get in some shorter workouts um, because I think we're all very busy. And it's more doable when you say, oh, do I have 30 or 40 minutes? Yes, everybody does. Early in the morning, later at night. Right now it's 5.20. I really need to get in the shower, but um, I'm gonna get this in before, and before I know it, 40 minutes and you're in and done. So first move, let's just start with that little bob and weave. Now that I've talked your ear off for a little bit. So the first move is going to be just an out in football run. And you can have the option of flurrying the arms, Remember, everything's gonna be 20, 30, or 40 seconds, depending on the move. We're gonna mix it up. It's gonna be fast paced and fun. So let's take it to a football run and just take it in and out. Now, you can add those arms. Since this whole workout is basically cardio, you're gonna take little breaks in between. But you're gonna keep the body moving. Now, if this bothers you, just do a wide football run, that's fine too. You wanna to use your abs here to get those knees up, in and out. Four more, four, three, two, marching out real quick. Rear lunges are next. We're gonna keep those arms up, punch. Remember, we're just starting out, so this is like kind of like an extended warm up. As we go, we're gonna work a little harder. So if you don't have those weights in your hands, don't worry about it. I love the rear lunge because it's easier on your knees. Now, I'm puffing and puffing a little bit, even though I'm not jumping, right? They're fast paced, paced, and you're going down. Down, down. Now, if you want, you can even go a little deeper as we get into it. If you're not ready for it yet, don't do it. Three, two, one. Give me a little bob and weave again. Good. Next move, we're gonna crisscross those arms and bring that leg out. So see how I'm not really jumping? You just kind of lay it in the feet. Using those arms. Outer thigh, inner thigh. I love these workouts. So much variety. Possibilities are endless. Really get a chance to get into those muscles. Four, three, two, going right into a football run. So again, you're not gonna get so much breaks in between depending on the move. The harder the move, the more of a break you'll get. A little football run. This is different than the other one. This is feet together. Just go for it. Just go for it, go fast. Pretend that floor is on fire. You should be feeling those glutes. Breathe, breathe. Push. Four, three, two. Pulse it down, squat. 
recover a little bit. Our next move is an air squat. We're gonna use the arms. Breathing here. I want you to go down a little deeper if you can. Add those arms. You're gonna to wanna to jump. But I don't want you to jump here. So if I was to jump, that energy comes from the floor, but I want you to push. Use those arms. Push. And these weights make everything a little harder. You have more resistance. Really keep your core tight here. These air squats are no joke. Push. Four. Three. Two. March it out. Keep the body moving. Breathe. Next one's a Heisman, one of my favorites. One to knee, one to knee, quick on the feet. Here we go. One to knee, one to knee. You can bicep curl the arms. I always go a little slower on the carpet with these. I wish I was on a gym floor. Could really go for it with these. From the side, you wanna bring that knee up. Breathe, one to knee, one to knee. Lateral movement, against the core. Push. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. Next one, we're building on that squat. We're gonna do a high-low. Arms up here. We're gonna high low, high and low. We normally do this with a jump. I don't want you to jump. But you can get down there on that squat a little lower. You're gonna feel this oblique. This hand is up by your chin. Come on, push. Imagine hitting somebody in the head and the knees. You can really pick up the pace here. That's the beauty of these low impact exercises. You can really work hard. Woo. Eight, seven, four, three, two, football run. Football run, we're gonna do a knee pull down and then we'll go to the other side. So we're gonna get those arms up, we're gonna pull that knee in. I'm gonna put a little spring in my step. You don't have to. I'm not really jumping. So it's, this would be your low impact version of a high knee run or a mountain climber, like a standing mountain climber. But you can be here with your foot completely down. I just like to add that little extra little syncopated move there. And I like to think about my core here, rib to hip. Crunch, crunch, crunch. These are no joke. Whew. Crunch, 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 crunch. Come on, pick up the pace. Work. Eight. Four, three, two. March it out. All right, we have that high low on this side. Feet apart. Pulse it down to start. Here we go. From the side. Try to imagine that opponent. Up and down, up and down. Head and knees. Hit hard. You're gonna feel that oblique. down, energy comes up from that squat. When you punch up, eight. Four more. March it out. Woo. 
Good job. All right. I'm going to face this way. It's going to be shuffle, shuffle, drop. One of my favorites. You can floor the arms here. So it's shuffle, shuffle, drop. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. So you can touch the floor. I'm not jumping. Getting a lot of lateral movement. You don't have to touch the floor. If you do though, your legs bring you there. Your legs bring you there. Now you don't have to flurry the arms. One, two. One, two. Okay, good night. This is low impact. We do these a lot. Use your legs. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo. How are we doing? Woo. 16 minutes in. All right. A little inner thigh. Legs into V. We're going to pull. I want you to imagine smashing someone with that elbow or something, like a board. We normally do these with a little jump. And if you want, you can stay with your toes down and just lift those heels. It's up to you. Still not a jump. And I want you to concentrate. Pull it in, pull it in. Pull it in. You're pretty much lifted here. You have a slight hinge forward. Push, 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 push. Think about those obliques. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! How we doing? Next one, we're gonna scoop up hamstring curls, scoop it back, and take it back. Going back to the 80s here. I used to do a lot of these in my high-low class. Now, see how I'm doing an upright row here? You can also do a bicep curl, but right now, we're keeping the emphasis on the shoulders. You can stay in place, maybe pick up the pace, get that hamstring curl, pick up the pace, if you can, it's low impact, think shoulders, four, three, two, and one, march it out, Woo. so much fun. All right, we're gonna do lunges. Pushing down, really with a hammer punch. Infuse that kickboxing in here, whether you have these or not. So we're gonna go down, switch. Now we really want you to wind up through the shoulder. Don't worry about the beat. That knee stays over the heel. Try to get that full turn. Try to get that full turn. Push that knee right over that heel. Pushing into that heel. Four. Three. Two. One. March it out. Get a drink whenever you need it. Woo! Good job. All right, we're gonna press this leg out for four. Pushing those arms out. Four, three, switch sides. Switch. Reach and pull those arms. We're gonna change it to a knee in. Switch. 
switch, 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 switch for eight here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, switch, use the back here, really pull with your back, switch again for eight, Drive that knee in, work that core. Switch last time, and then we go back to singles, punching down. Remember with those? Here we go. Get low, get low, get low, get low. Four more. March it out. I'm gonna get a quick drink. All right, remember those pulls we did with single arms? We're gonna do both arms together. So you're gonna get in that wide plie, and it's push. Kind of smash it, I'm gonna do it from the side. My back is still pretty tall. If this bothers you, go back to singles. That might be a little too much for your low back. You can always drop the weights. Engage your muscles here. You can even take it out a little bit in front of us. Push like a chop. Again, see how your back feels. Eight more, it's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Nice job. All right. Woo. A little concentration work for the legs now. We're gonna take our left foot forward, right leg back. Now, this left arm is right by your chin. We're gonna take this arm and smash it down. So this is a build on the lunges we did. Now, I'm gonna add a little baby jump here, but it's not a forceful jump. I'm barely lifting. I'm almost just lifting my heels. Heels back. Target work for those legs. You're also working that arm. Okay, you don't have to jump or add that little hop there. I don't even want to call it a jump. Eight. Hold it here, bring it down. Take that leg back, pull it in for eight. Four, three, bring it up and keep pulling that knee in. Four, three, go back down to the floor for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, go back up. Go back down the floor. We have two more sets just like that. Keep the neck nice and long here. Draw that knee in. Bring it up. Bring it down last time. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep pushing into that heel. Bring it up for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Step touch. You gotta keep that leg working. Before we go to the other side, we have a couple things to do. There's your strength, there's your toning. We're gonna go right into a skater. Now I'm gonna push out with my skater. It's a little harder than pushing down. We've been doing a lot of pushing down. We're varying it a little bit. You can do two out, two down, however you want. Let's just do the skater first. Low impact, lateral movement, push, push. I want you to do a cross here. Now, you can be more in front, you can go more of a cross. Go by what you want to do, what feels best. 
Sit it down. Sit it down. Sit it down. You can either go up. The weights are light enough. It's like a little one lady squat. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, march. Keep moving. Good job. Breathe. All right, we're gonna go to that other leg. So we have that left leg forward. We have the right leg forward, right arm up. We're gonna take this arm, smash it down. This arm is doing a static bicep curl. I'm gonna show you from the other side. Front knee stays over the heel. Abs are in tight. Again, if you want to add that little, I don't even want to call it a jump. I'm just kind of lifting those heels up a little bit. Try to stay out of the joint. Use your muscle here. Shoulder. Eight. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it down. Bring it in. Four, three, bring it up and pull it in. Six, bring it down for eight. Eight. You can stay up if you want the whole time. If this is too much, bring it up. We're halfway there. Drive that knee in. Just tapping that toe behind, take it down. Keep the neck nice and long. Keep pushing that front heel. Bring it up. You're also getting the heart rate up for me, up and down. Stay in your back muscle. Bring it down, last set. Muscles are gonna be a little shaky here. Bring it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, step touch. We're gonna do another set of those skaters. I'd like you to go a little further down this time. So I need to aim to the floor, even if it means slowing the movement. I'm gonna to try to get a little lower too. It's gonna to feel good on those legs. So we're gonna take it down. I'm still keeping my emphasis down, but I'm lowering my legs. I like to keep the leg up in the back. If you need to, you can kind of curtsy it. This is fine. Just let your legs and your obliques bring you to the ground. You're gonna feel a little more of the legs here because you're holding that one-legged squat a little more. Keep that chest up. Three, two, and one. Woo! March it out. How are we doing? Perfect. Perfection. All right, next one's easy. All arms. We're gonna stay with fast feet. I'm gonna punch those arms out in front. If you don't like the fast feet, just stay in that little kind of boxer shuffle. That's fine too. Let's start with the fast feet. You want to get that arm out there. Whew. Heels are lifted. This is fire right here. Work in the chest, work in the back, work in the core. Come on. Push. You got this. I have my palms facing each other. You can have them facing down. Push. Push. Four. Three. Go to full extension. Two. And one. Woo. Good job. All right. 
we're gonna circle those arms and do a little two step. Now, you can do a hamstring curl like that, or you can do a leg lift to the side. I'm gonna do the leg lift to the side. Now, if it's too much to have the arms over your head, bring it here. Because you have weights in your hands, you have to control it. Keep a slight bend in that knee as one leg goes out to the side. Protect your joints. You're gonna feel those obliques. Those arms up over the head. We would never start out with this move. But you're ready for it. You're warmer. Squeeze those glutes. Four. Three. Two. You've got it. Woo! Good job. All right. We don't have to do everything on our feet, right? We can go down to the floor and work that heart rate. So we'll do that just that. We are going to do just that. All right. We're going to do punches in plank with these guys on. I'm going to see how this is going to work. Might not work as well as I think, but I'm going to try. If it's not working for you, take them out. If it's awkward, if you're going to hurt your wrist, I'm going to see which way it's going to work. All right. I'm going to have my palms down. You're going to be in plank. You can have your feet a little wider. You know what? I'm going to be on my knuckles. I like knuckles better than palms. I guess I should have tested this out, but if you don't want the weights, keep going guys. Don't use the weights. Hands are down. Punch, punch, punch. We've done these plenty of times without the weights. Keep going. Again, if it feels awkward, don't do it. I'm on my knuckles. If it doesn't work for you, don't do it. You have to engage a little more core because you're unstable here. I like to have my feet a little wider. I know my hips are up a little bit more than they would if I didn't have the weights. Punch it out. Punch it out. Like you're hitting somebody coming at you. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Ooh, come on up. Bring it down. Come on up. Do whatever I say. I'm only kidding. Only kidding. All right. We're going to do an uppercut flurry. All right. With a little football run in and out. A little more coordination. We did these in the beginning, but I want more fire. I want more speed. I want more bicep. So you're pushing up from the side. Taking those elbows a little further away from the body. Almost like you're doing an uppercut, hitting somebody under the chin. Now, if it's too much with the feet like this, just hold them out or hold them in or alternate. Four more. Three, two, and one. Ooh, good job. All right, speed back, up, squat, up, squat. You'll be surprised how these get that heart rate up. Do not drop your head, our heart rates it up. Heart rates are up, we don't wanna drop our head below our heart. Let your legs do the work. We're gonna add a little boxer shuffle right here. Down. If you don't like the boxer shuffle, do it with the squat. Now you're doing a little crunch here. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, crunch. Feel those shoulders. Keep your abs in tight. Remember, you can do this with the squat. Keep your chest up. Four. Three, two, 
one. Ooh, march it out. All right, I think we have one more thing to do here, according to my list in my head. We're gonna do side to side squats, but we're gonna punch down. We do this all the time without the weights. So we're gonna bring those arms up and feet are together. Let's start with a little pulse down. Make sure both heels are down. It's not a lunge like we did before. It's a squat, squat. There we go. Now, I'm gonna try to touch the floor. I'm not really punching. I'm just extending. But if you wanted to, if you didn't wanna to touch the floor, by all means, go to the punch. I'm just gonna to try to get a little lower in my legs if you want. Fan the arms out like a windmill. That's gonna be a little harder. Still tapping the floor. Get low. Slight toe turnout. This is it, guys. I promise. Last one. This is a low impact one we do all the time. Four, three, two, one. See how adding the arms really gets that heart rate up. Give me a little elbow block. Let's we'll step out. Tap. Bring the heart rates down now. Eight more. Eight. No one. We're gonna take these off. Good job. If you had them on the whole time, good for you. All right, grab that one dumbbell. We'll do a couple core exercises and that's it. I'm gonna lower the volume. How are we doing? Hopefully you like this format. We do a lot of these exercises in between anyway. All right. If you need a little more recovery time, take it before you come down. No biggie. All right, you know what? We haven't done these side planks in a while, but we're gonna start off with um, a rainbow arm boat pose challenge. I don't even know what to call it. So, I like this one. You're gonna keep the weight in front of your head. Now, you can start out with the feet down, lean back, that's always the way it is, or you can tap the feet out. So we're gonna take this weight up in front of our face, bring it down. Also hits the shoulders, hits the obliques. So you're gonna lift and switch. Now, make sure this weight is in front of you, not over your head. We don't want any accidents. Now, if you want, Bring the legs up. So I want you to get the weight with the other hand and bring it down. I like to call these rainbow or single chest or single shoulder press. So you're making contact at the top in front of you. Four, three, two, and one. You kind of get to know where that placement is for your hand. I like to hold it lower and then you can grip it on the top to switch. These are hard, hence we're only gonna do a few. So you're gonna be on your elbow and you're in a side plank. If you don't like the side plank with the feet stacked, you're gonna take the top leg forward or you can be on your knees. Just do your best. We're gonna aim for 12 to 16 reps. This one, your palm is gonna face you then you're gonna face, the palm's gonna face me. So it's down, up, but the weight stays off the floor. Sounds very complex, I know. I haven't done these in a while with you guys. So very important, keep your ear up off your shoulder. Do not sink down. If that happens, take a break and come back. 
We're at the end here, so break up the reps however you need to. Pull in your abdominals. Before you lift the weight, you're gonna get into that stack position. So you're gonna be right here. You're gonna take the weight up and down. My hips do not move. Two, three, four, five. Hips stay stable. Six, seven, pull in those abs. Eight, eight. Seven, six, you're gonna feel that bottom oblique, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, definitely felt it. I don't think I could have done one more. All right, other side. And then we're done. Done, 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 I promise, I promise. All right, so this is also considered hit. Your heart rate's up, right? You don't always have to be standing to do hit. All right, same thing here. This is my weaker side. I may have to come down on my knees or I may stagger. Catch your breath, start in that harder position and then you can always adapt. So I'm gonna come up, here we go, one. Two, three, have a focal point in front of you. Four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, don't let that elbow slip. If it does, bring your hips down and then get it back under. I think we have four more. Four, three, Two, one, bring it down. Ooh, definitely felt it. Let's stay down for our stretch. Roll that weight away. Come down, hug your knees in. Uh, let's take a full body stretch. Arms up, feet away. Lift your rib cage up a little bit. Point your toes, reach your arms up. Stay here. I'm gonna grab my music. Stay right there with that full body stretch. You can even take just the right arm up and just the left arm up. Do the right side, do the left side. All right. A little bit slower music. All right, you're gonna hug your knees into your chest. Hug your knees in your chest. I like to hug behind my knees so that if you have any knee issues, why push on your knees from here when you can just do it from here, All right? Arms out to the side. We're gonna bring our knees to the right. Now, if this is too much, you can put a book or a pillow under those knees. Arms are outstretched, the shoulders down. Ah, feels so good. You're gonna feel that stretch from your outer thigh all the way to that IT band, the knee. Carefully bring those knees in and go to the other side. So as you can tell, that was pretty intense. And I don't want you to think that low impact is easy because it's not, clearly. It's not, it whipped my butt. Bring your knees in, extend one leg. One leg goes up, you can even have this leg down, you can even lift it if you want. It's up to you, point and flex those feet. Stretching out that hamstring. Switch legs. Really hold that stretch. Good job. Bring it right here. Take your right leg, cross it over. One of my favorite stretches. Opening up that knee to the side. 
Again, you can point and flex that foot if you like here. I like to have my head up for this one. You don't have to. You can keep your shoulders down. Other side. Boy, do I need a shower. <laughs> it's funny how you really can feel it sometimes or smell it. Feels good though. It's a good, it's a good sweat. All right, bring it down. Ah, uh, just hug your knees in one more time. And then maybe just rock side to side. Give your little lower back a massage. A little smile on your face. Ah, uh, hug your knees in. Lift your head. Roll it up. Let's come all the way up. Now, we didn't do a lot of um, strength per se, but let's just stretch those arms out a little bit. Place the fingertips behind with the arms, bring it down. Bring it up. Left arm in front. Bring it behind one more time. All the way up. Place the fingertips around the back. You can take this side to side. Bring it all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Take a little moment here in time to take in all the gratitude you have in you for the ability to do this workout. There are so many people who would love to do this workout that are in hospitals and maybe injured or mentally can't do it. So really just take a moment to wrap your head around that. It amazes me. And I think I have my best days when I'm feeling good. When I have an injury or if I'm not feeling good, I feel frustrated that I can't do my best or do my hard workout, but adapt it to what you can do. Maybe there's days where you're gonna take a walk. Don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, believe me, I'm speaking from experience because I, I'm right there with you. I do this same thing to myself, but I think when I have those days where I feel, wow, maybe I didn't do my hardest workout or my best workout, but I had the ability to do it, and maybe nothing really bothered you, a knee or an ankle or a tweak. Um, so just give thanks for that. Thanks to the universe or whatever you believe in. Um, that's big, that's huge. Um, so just take a moment to take that in, to give yourself a little pat on the back for doing this, for taking a step in your day to do something for yourself, which is not selfish. It's actu actually something very, um, very thoughtful, not only for yourself, but for others. Because when you're better, you're better for others and you're better for the community and you're better for the world. And I do believe that all that good and endorphins will go out to the world and do great things. Those are when you can have your most clear moments. So, and you, you might be more patient. You might be a better mother, sister, wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend. So take that in, daughter, son. <laughs> so have a great day and sorry I chewed your ear off, but you did great today. See you next time.